everyone and welcome to today's video. Today's video is about pH and blogging. As you've probably seen on the internet, there are many blogs out there. People write a blog for different reasons, such as food, travel, sports, fashion and even health. I am someone who writes a blog about my own health condition and there are other pH patients that also write a blog. We find that writing a blog is good for us as it helps us express our feelings, share our stories, raise awareness and sometimes writing about our feelings is a lot easier than speaking about them. The reason we write a blog is because we want to attract an audience. There are millions of people that use the internet every day so someone is bound to come across your blog. Writing a blog also creates opportunities such as the media, TV programmes or even conference people. The more you write, the more attraction you will build. As I said earlier, sometimes writing to express your feelings is a lot easier than speaking about them and that's where a blog is very useful. It helps you to tell your story and let people understand what you're going through each and every day because it can be difficult to talk that's why letting it out over writing helps a lot you will also meet new people I've joined a group recently where I've met people who write about their own conditions it's lovely to read their stories and then to read mine and to share ideas and to share each other's blogs around the world My blog is called No Cure Always Hope. Here you will find all about me, my pH journey, a poem that I wrote when I got newly diagnosed, and also all the videos that I do for this vlog. You will find the link in the description below. I'm now going to show you some blogs from some other pH patients. I hope you enjoy seeing them. You will find the links to all their blogs, again, in the description below. because I like to raise awareness for pulmonary hypertension as it is an incurable condition and quite unknown so I feel when I was writing my blog I was not only letting out my own feelings but I was also letting people know about the long and difficult journey I have when suffering with PH I also like to let people know that it isn't easy having pulmonary hypertension and I want people to understand what this condition is actually about I will now show you the reason from the authors of the blogs I've shown you onto why they write their blogs.
reading our blogs and reading why we feel blog writing is very important to us. Please, please, please go onto their blogs, have a read, read about their journeys because we love sharing our stories with you because that is what they're there for, to learn and understand what pulmonary hypertension is and how it affects us in our daily lives. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.